with some of the vehicles, some streamlining it for production. So one of the drivers for TBDI, obviously for fuel, it's the rising fuel prices. Uh, it's a diesel versus gas cost differential. Now in this case for the EBDI vehicle, we are looking at replacing a diesel engine in this vehicle with a gasoline engine. That the reason for doing that is that there's a high cost for diesel engines in the future because of the after treatment systems. So by using a gasoline engine, we can go for a simple three-way catalyst as opposed to having a, uh, a DPF with an SCR on the diesel. So EBI stands for extreme downsizing. Again, using E85 as a, a, a key enabler to allow us to get the high performance from this engine. Now, our objective was to develop a 3.2 litre spark ignition engine running on E85 with the performance of a 6 to 7 litre uh, diesel engine and also to provide a flexible powertrain optimised for operation on standard pump gasoline to E85. Now one advantage of this approach for this extreme downsizing is it actually applies to lots of different markets, whether it's your light duty trucks, whether it's your agricultural, uh, you know, buses, tractors. It's quite a uh, scalable uh, technology. Now the fuel economy uh, improvement using is achieved by having an extremely downsized engine. We've gone from a 6.6 .6 litre diesel engine down to a 3.2 litre. So it's almost half the size in terms of uh, engine capacity. Uh, we've increased the cylinder pressure envelope. Now, why is that important? I mean, most cars these days have fairly large engines just to handle the uh, gradability, the towing, uh, and overtaking requirements, which means they have very high performance output, but under normal driving on a road, they're actually running at very part load conditions, which is the worst thing for an engine to get the least thermal efficiencies or the conversion efficiency from chemical energy from the fuel to mechanical energy. So if you can load up the engine, now we try to do that through gears. A lot of the trends for cars nowadays that have multiple gears, which helps get the RPM down lower, get the load higher, which gives you better efficiency. Uh, but there's a limit to how far you can go with that. So our approach here was to use an engine which is downsized. So just for driving normally, the engine's quite loaded. But now the potential, the excess torque capability, that you've got there for overtaking and greater building uh, isn't there with a the conventional engine. So what we did was provide a lot of boosting through the use of ethanol, high octane, as well as uh, using our uh, boost system and controls. That gave us the uh, same performance as a 6.6 litre diesel engine, as well as providing the same sort of economy. In addition with, uh, to improving this envelope with cylinder pressure, we've utilised cool exhaust gas recirculation. Now this is a uh, flex vehicle in terms of it can run on E85, where it maximises the benefits of the uh, high octane properties of E85, as well as the latent heat of vaporisation, but it also needs to run on gasoline, regular E0. So for that, we'd have a tremendous knocking problem to destroy the engine, unless we actually brought in a lot of this uh, cool EGR. So by feeding the exhaust gas back through the intake, it actually slows down the combustion and mitigates the knock uh, problems you would normally have with a high performance engine like this. However, there's a secondary benefit. Uh, when running on ethanol, above about E8, E45, we don't have any knock problems from this engine, but by feeding EGR in, we still slow down the combustion rate, which minimizes MVH, and also improves fuel economy. So part of our testing for this engine was we took the engine, we put it on the engine dynamometer, we went through and we optimised it for spark advance, for the uh, phase timing of the exhaust and intake uh, camshafts, uh, the amount of EGR in the system, the boost controls. So it's a major optimisation problem, but we found that running up to 22% EGR actually provide us better fuel efficiency for both the straight gasoline solution as well as E85.